Hello, everybody. Here I am again. I just realized, this is the weirdest thing. I just realized that I could put my tripod way up high. I thought it had to be, like, short. Now I realize that the legs, this is a leg and this is a leg. A leg and a leg. Leg, leg. So, but then I got to work between the legs. But as long as I keep myself between the legs, I'll be in good shape. But actually, I was cleaning. I was cleaning my area, which I do that every once in a while when I can't see any of my area. I Then I decide, oh, hush, Papa, once every 90 days, no. Okay, anyway. See, I and I was going through some stuff that I just got in this in in a um in a um in a um in a uh, a happy meal box full of stuff. This was in here. This is a piece. This was a piece of like blue jean leg, blue jean denim leg, and it's painted. I didn't paint this. It came painted. So I'm thinking Deborah painted it, or maybe somebody painted it and gave it to Deborah, and Deborah gave it to me. I don't know. But somebody painted it. The whole thing is painted with probably acrylic paint. And I thought, that's pretty doggone groovy. So I thought, I just got to thinking, and I thought, I want to make like a little junk journal like this. Like this. So it can be like right here will be like the, the hinge and this will be a flap over look at that isn't that like awesome i bet you've never seen anything quite as awesome as that thank you my dear deborah and then i have some of these pages like this is this is like coffee dyed i got a couple of these like coffee dyed paper papers i did them off on my little old sale right there i coffee dyed them and then i just did some um stenciling on them to give them a little bit of pizzazz because you know everything needs pizzazz okay and then i found this bag oh this bag came in that same box from my friend deb rock Debra. Or Deborah. It might be Deborah because I had another friend. Her name was Deb, but her real name was Deborah, and it was spelt just like Deborah. So I'm thinking, and this here paper, this here paper, I made this paper out of out of paper, out of old paper, make paper, and so I did that on this. So I'm gonna put this page, and this one here. I think it had like um I think I had like tea. I put an actual tea bag in the blender when I was blending the paper pulp and that's what gives it all this sparkly stuff. I haven't done that in a while. I'm gonna have to drag out my paper making stuff. So I wanna make a couple of signatures. I need to make more paper one day. Now this this is a flow book that I got from a different friend. This one was from, I remember who this one was from. Um, oh, I got to remember her name. Oh, man. What's her name? Her name is, her name is, never mind. I'll remember it. I'll remember it in a little bit. But she made this cover out of using a, a napkin. And the napkin is over paper pages. And the whole shooting match is made on a, on a file folder. So, and she sent me this flow book, which the flow books are actually, ooh, look at this pretty piece of paper. The flow books are actually pieces of stuff. God, why can't I think of a name? I'll think of it. It'll come to me in the middle of the night. I know she's got a foot. She's got a sore foot. She just had surgery on her foot. I, but I can't think of her name. Doggone it. Okay. Oh, look at this. Me and my gal. Oh, yeah. I know her name as well as I know my own. Let's see, now. Let me see. I am. Oh. 
Now, see, I have used some of this stuff already out of here. Oh, what is this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is like some really old Christmas paper. I'm going to use... I'm going to use that for one of the pages. Not that it's going to be a Christmassy thing, but I think it should be Christmas all year round. I have got like three bathrooms. Well, actually, I think it's like two and a half. But my half bathroom... I leave that one decorated for Christmas all year round. Look at this page. comes from Campbell's Soup. June 13th, 1953. I was only four years old. I wasn't even quite four years old. Soup and sandwiches. I love tomato soup, man. I could eat me my weight in tomato soup. That's cool. Okay, I might use that too. Now I'm, I, now, oh, see, and here, that's the same tissue she covered this with. See that? Okay, let me see. Sometimes if I go down the alphabet, let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Oh, this is cool. Q R S Q R S Sharon Shannon no Sharon Patterson no yeah no Sharon Sharon man I think it's Sharon Patterson but I was just talking to my friend whose last name is Patterson so maybe that's why I'm thinking Patterson but I think it's Sharon Patterson. Oh, look at these. Well, I didn't even realize these were in there. You know, I hadn't looked at this for real. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, I feel embarrassed. Oh, this is cool stuff. Okay. Music. I gotta have music. Oh, and this is that. Oh, I gotta have a. Okay, I'm having music. And I'm having a piece of this. This makes me think of that restaurant. What's that restaurant? I can't think of that. Sharon Patterson. I think that's her name. Oh, God. I hope that's her name. Because I think I got this from Sharon Patterson. I think that's who it's from. I can't swear it because I just don't swear. Look at this cool stuff. Pro's new and improved mechanical tailor system. Okay, I'm finding... Oh, this is... I gotta use that. That's too bad. I want that one. And then this one. I like these. Okay, I like them. Okay. What is this orange stuff? Wow, that's different. That. Okay, now. A foggy day... I was a stranger in the city, out of town where people, out of town where the people I knew. I had a feeling of self-pity. What to do? What to do? What to do? George Gershwin. A foggy day. There was a musical genius. Dang. Okay. Well, there's too much in there to use for my book. So, I'm going to take some of these things. But since this is a small, this is going to be small because my piece of ju ju blue jean stuff is small. That means that I have to make it small. But where, oh where did I put my small paper cutter? See that? This is the problem I have. Whenever my place is in a mess, I can find things. But then soon, as I tidy it up even a little bit, I can't find nothing. And that's where I'm at right now. I can't find nothing. Okay, I'll use this one right here. This one will work, but I was looking for my little orange one. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Thank you. It was right up there by the stake. Dang it. Okay, so 
these pieces here, oh, let me see, let me measure, let me measure, oh, that's the backwards of the measuring thing, okay, so, man, oh man, so I can't have them any more than six inches by eight inches, six inches by eight inches, let me make sure for you. Yeah, six inches by eight inches. Let me put that ruler right back up there. Okay, so I am going to make these little kitties are so cute. They have to be one of my cages. So I'm going to make them six. There, oh, let's get back up here. Doesn't have to be exactly eight inches though. So. Oh darn it, and this here, six inches by eight inches. Okay, this doesn't exactly cut to six eight inches, so I'm just going to guesstimate about right there. It's just cute. I love them little people. Hang on. Okay. Now, my Christmas greetings. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to. With my, see, hmm. all right. Let's see. I'm gonna um put this. Yeah. See, that'll make a nice page. Although it's a little bit, I gotta just tear it in half. I want, this is really old paper. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So that's gonna be a page. So I'll just hold that like half inch view of it and put it inside of this, inside of this here signature. I think I'll put it right in the middle. Right in the middle. Because it's so cute with them little key cats. I love them. I love them key cats. Okay. I don't have any key cats, but I love key cats because <coughs> this is really pretty. I love kitty cats, but my husband, he's allergic. He's allergic to kitty cats. There, that just tore off of there, and that gives that a really cool looking edge. I, just took that out. I really should just tear this, and then it would be really cool. But I'm not going to tear it. I'm going to cut it. It's really cool. See, that's like old fashioned looking. Hey, that's pretty cool with that camera up there, right straight down a pond. What do I keep doing with my... Oh, there it is. You know, I, I just throw things. I, I'm really bad about that, throwing things. You know what? I need to start on another. Let me see if I can put this right here. If I put that right there, then I don't have to. Okay. So I'm going to cut this. At six inches, also ish, six ish inches. When you're making a junk journal, though, you do not have to. Nothing has to be like measured. I'm gonna have George Hirschwin. He's gonna be in my junk journal. Great composers on page thirty-five. Okay, he's gonna be in there, and um. Yeah, he's going to be in that one. And then this orange paper, it feels kind of like wax. That's what it is. But it's pretty cool. And so we're going to have to have a page of orange in my junk journal. Otherwise, the orange will feel left out. Okay. Somebody in there? Oh, that's my husband. My husband. I must be watching something on the computer. Okay, now this, it's an orange page, and you know, orange is not everybody's favorite color. So I'm going to go ahead and use it, because it is my daughter-in-law's favorite. Okay, now, I'm just getting some pages here. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. That one. 
Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, her name's Sharon Patterson. That's her name. Sharon, I hope you're watching this. I hope I got the right name. Okay, now I'm going to put this one and get that cut about six inches. Oh, both of them will work. So I'll put one on the outside of this signature and one on the inside of the signature. These are so simple and so fun to make because you really don't have to measure. You got a little bit sort of measure, but you know, you see how them things are? They're not exactly measured correctly. They're just sort of, they're just sort of measured. See, I got two signatures. Two signatures I'm working on here. That stuff right there. Now, it must have been something else. Oh yeah, this. I want this red stuff. Now, oh, you know what? I didn't think about it. I need to think about things a little bit better. Okay, this one here, I want to make a pocket. So, I'm going to make this to be about... I want that to be about... Now that's about 6 inches right there. And then this, I need it to be about 8 inches-ish. Or when I fold it in half. You know what I could do? You know what I should do? Instead of having this dumb cutter here, I could just go like this. I could go like this and get that to be about 8-ish inches-ish. 8-ish inches-ish. And then go like this. That's easier. Then I can fold that in half. And once I get that in there, once I get that in there, then I can do these edges and have pockets. Because I definitely need pockets. Everyone needs pockets in their junk journals. Okay, I'm going to put it like right here. Okay. This is going to be cool. This is going to be cool. This is going to be cool, cool, cool. Now, and, oh yeah, this piece, this piece, also, I think I'm going to make that one into a pocket as well. Ah, that looks about right. And then, and then this looks about right. I'm getting tired of measuring, so I'm just going to look. I'm just going to take a look to see and see what looks right. Okay, now, tear that off. There, good enough, good enough. I mean to tell you, I mean to tell you. Okay, let's get that in there. Right there, but that's going to be pockets. Wait a minute, I think I'm going to put this in the middle. In there. Put it right there. Right there. Now, this is beginning to, this is beginning to look like, but I think I want, do I want three signatures in there, or do I just only want two? No, I think, maybe once, I don't know, maybe once I add more stuff to it. Let me see. Oh, here was this for me and my gals thing. I don't know if that's a the bells are ringing for me and my gal. Something like that. Okay, instead of cutting this, I'm just going to Judy Garland for me and my gal. George Murphy, Gene Kelly, Marta Eggers, Ben Blue. La, 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 la. Someday I need to have the words to songs that I could sing. I could sing to you. I don't think you'd sue me. I don't know. You might. I don't know. <laughs> there is a law against um, noise disturbances or something like that. Okay, so that's going to be a pocket page. And this one. Going to be a pocket page. So that's going to have a pocket. Now, this here, 
Okay, you know what I'm going to do with this one? I'm going to do this way. And that's about right there. And then instead of cutting this off, I'm just going to fold this over like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a junk journal. A junk journal is exactly that. You can use your junk mail or what other people might think is junk and you might not think is junk. I think I'll use another piece of my handmade paper where I take all my scraps and I put them like in a blender with water and I um and I um just a minute. okay I take like scraps paper scraps and I put them in the water in a blender and then I um Jennifer fell ahead you're gonna get in the box baby okay um and and then you put it through like this this thing that that it's got like a it's like a, oh, forget it, I don't even know the words now. But you put it through this, like a screen thing. And then you mash it. You mash it down and pull the water back out. And it makes new uh, new paper. That's all I don't know how to say about that yet. I, that's all I have to say about that. But I like making paper. I haven't done that in a while, though. So I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get busy and, and make some paper. Out of my scraps of paper. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip this in half of this here. This is about half right here, right? Would you agree? Okay, I'm gonna take that and move. There we go. Now that's in half and two. That's two pieces. It was one piece, now it's two pieces. So I'll give that a little fold. I'm gonna give this one a little fold. Now, okay, it's not, okay, this one's enough, and this one, this one's enough, and this one, and this one is going to be enough in this one. No, this one has to go in a different one, because we can't have the same thing. Wait a minute. Let me see. I think I'm going to put... George, I'm gonna put old George Gershwin right on the front. Yeah, he's cute as a dumpling. He's a cute little apple dumpling. Then this one, now which one? This one. Okay, let's put this in here. Now, and then let's put this one right here. And then, you know, I could have put some envelopes or something in there. But I didn't. This little piece, though. See, yeah, I shouldn't let this piece go to waste. So I'm going to put that. That's going to go in here somewhere, too. Let me just put it right here. Put this right here. Shove that back in there. That. And then here was another short piece. So I'll fold that in half. Hi, George. He's smoking that old cigar. Old George Gershwin. He's smoking a cigar. Okay. And then I'm going to put this little short piece. Just to give it some pizzazz. Okay, now. That's my three. Three signatures. Compiled. They're right there. Compiled. Okay, now. Now, wait a minute. Okay, where did I put, oh, here it is. This is my needle book. My friend made me this needle book. She sent it to me. Now, I always know where my needles are. Used to, you know, needles are a hard thing to find. Well, my friend, and I'm, her name is Myra. Was it Myra? I think it was Myra. I don't remember. Sent me this. If you're watching whoever sent me this, remind me. Actually, I could look at another video, and I could look at the video and find out. But I have got, I have not lost my needles since I've had this needle book, because my needles are always right there where I can find them. See, I think I'm going to use this needle. Ooh, it's got a long little piece of green string on it already, too. 
come from somewhere. Oh, it's wow! It's it's actually got some beads on the end of the string, string, and I don't think I'm gonna take them beads off of there. I think just because they're on there, it's an omen. And then look at this one. This one's got pink string, and it's got some beads on it. That might be another omen. Okay. I don't know if you believe in almonds, but I think that means I'm supposed to use this. Okay, so now I want to sew these in here before I change my mind. Okay, so I'll put the middle one in first. So, and I don't, I don't get all like some people get all kind of measuring and stuff. I don't get all that measuring stuff going on. So I just kind of see how that just went through there like that? Just like that it did. And I'm gonna pull that string through there just so the beads that just happen to be on there are just gonna hang right there. That is gonna make that cool. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna push another stitch. Push this needle right through here. It kind of doesn't really want to go through all that paint. Just a minute. I'm going to get it. Ooh, I hope I don't have to go to the ER. Oh, wait a minute. Here. I think I got a pokey thing right here. Really sharp pokey thing. Maybe I'll just take this sharp pokey thing and yeah, that's it. Jam it through there. Then my needle will go there a lot easier. Okay, there it went. There we go. And then I'm going to go back in through that first hole I made like this. This is cool, isn't it? And then I'm going to come back out down here. I'm going to go in, back in or out or whatever it is. I'm going to go and poke. Wait a minute, I can get that. This pokey one is better. Yeah, these pokey tools, I got them from over there to the Harbor Freight. You go over there and, you know, you can buy a pokey tool like at, um, like at Michael's and Joanne's and Hobby Lobby and stuff, they have pokey tools. But let me tell you what's the truth, love. You can get them cheaper over there to the Harbor Freight. And they do the same job. They just don't have any brand names on them. That's the only thing. Oops, that didn't tie very good. Okay. Excuse my chubby fingers and all this stuff. I put my fingers on a diet. Wait a minute. Why do I have a... Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to leave them beads on there. I'm going to cut this right here with a pair of scissors. And there I've got a pair of scissors. It's amazing. Now, that is cool. So, see, I have one, one of my signatures. Oh, this has to go back here because that's a block. One of my signatures is into my junk journal. And then I get another one. And, you know what, did I do that wrong? Oh, no, that's right. I thought maybe I had my pockets going the wrong way, but no, I got them the right way. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Okay, this one didn't have a pocket, so I don't have to worry. So now I'm going to take this one, open it up to the middle. So I'll fold it in half. Ooh, it's got to go this way so my kitty cats are correct. I want my kitty cats to be correct in my junk journal, okay? Now this one isn't going to have any beads. Just the string, just the string. So this one's going to be boring. So give that a little shove in that way. Okay, alright, okay, alright. To about right there. And then put this one right beside. Wait a minute. 